the food is worth, but these are the latest century civilian cards and the lowest video memory is more than 12G. At present, AIGC is gradually becoming a common tool for committing crimes like Office. The local applications of GPT-like dialogue models to drawing models, including AI video rendering, are quite rich. Although the threshold of some drawing models is about 4G video memory, the threshold of some dialogue models is 6G video memory. But large video memory not only makes the graphics faster, but also makes the dialogue smarter, and the effect will definitely be better, even if you let AI write a plan, right? 12G and 24G will be different. The former may expose the display and then start talking nonsense. So if you want to use local AI applications that are more efficient and easy to use, it is recommended to use at least a 12G graphics card. Because basically, the larger the video memory under the red core, the better the performance. In addition to top graphics cards such as 4090 and 3090, which have more than 20G video memory, even the 4080, which costs tens of thousands of yuan, has only 16G video memory. As for Tesla, this graphics card is not only extremely expensive, but also not something that ordinary users can handle. However, we also roughly mentioned and downloaded Tesla's corresponding civilian graphics card. P100 corresponds to 1080, V100 corresponds to 2080, A100 is probably 3090, H100 is probably 4090, so the 2080 Ti that has been modified to 22G video memory for more than 2000 yuan is undoubtedly the most cost effective choice. How powerful is it? The reason for waiting for this magic modified 2080 Ti is that it is still quite valuable, so I want to tell you about 2080 Ti. How to buy it? We all know that 2080 Ti can be modified to 22G, but there are no new products on the market. And because 2080 Ti has no locked computing power, most of them have been mined. So how can I buy a 2080 Ti that is safe and has not been mined to the point of dying? Poised to evaluate the enhanced 2080 Ti that's been upgraded for over 2000 yuan alongside the recent 4070 Ti. Fascinating results await us. We'll begin these exciting comparisons using our two platforms. The first platform showcases our equipment with the Z790 chipset and a 2900K processor, ensuring a comprehensive assessment setup. The second platform with Lexus Ares 32G DDR5 and Lexus Ares 2T SSD is Asus TUF V660 12490F. Add Corsair 64G DDR4 memory and Samsung 980 Pro, there shouldn't be any bottlenecks. First, let's run the GPU of AEDA64 to see the approximate computing power comparison. In fact, we can see from the picture that due to the difference between the core generation and GDDR6-GDDR6X, the 2080 Ti is not as good as the 4070 Ti in terms of single crystal, dual crystal, NT, etc. when it comes to other AI calculations. Of course, it is even worse than the 4090. However, the modified 2080 Ti is only more than 2,000 yuan, the 4070 Ti is almost 7,000 yuan, and the 4090 is 13,000 yuan. There are still many price differences. After running the theoretical data, let's run some investigations on normal civilian AI applications. First of all, I would like to thank Qiuye and Kong Kong from Station B for making this package that makes our test easier. Let's run this stable diffusion first. This house model is a common model setting for us to run graphics card tests. It is also a benchmark setting that NVIDIA graphics cards often run. We generated a total of 10 batches, and the number of each batch is 2. Let's take a look at the comparison of the image output time and the usage of the video memory. From the time of unearthed, we will find that the time used by 2080 Ti is still faster than 1700 Ti, but it is about 30% slower than 4090. And then in terms of video memory usage, the 2080 Ti, 4070 Ti and 4090 do have lower usage, especially the 4090 Ti 9900, which is only about 25%. So it seems that judging from the time alone, the 2080 Ti is still good. Next, let's run the dialogue model. Now most people use it online or locally, so the computing power test must be local. So we found a 6-bit and 15-bit model for testing. Let AI make some planning videos without acceleration, all at original speed, so you can experience this speed. First of all, the 6-bit dialogue model. For 6B, we use the GLM1 that everyone is familiar with. In fact, we also found that there is still a little difference in the video memory usage of GM1 and GM2F2. 
For GME, its overall memory usage exceeds 16G and sometimes even exceeds 17G. In this way, the video memory of 4080 will be exhausted. The optimized GLM2 will not exceed 15G most of the time. The 4080 is on the brink of its capacity. Let's examine the loading speed demonstrated in this video to better understand its performance limits. The 4090 surpasses the 2080 Ti in loading speeds, yet post-load conversation rates are virtually equal. This can also be observed from the video evidence. Similarly, the performance of the 15B model aligns with these findings where loading is quicker, possibly due to GDDR6X technology. Though loading is expedited, conversation speeds do not vary, and actual memory utilization remains low. Furthermore, the 15B model rarely uses more than 14G, underscoring the significance of continual model optimization for maintaining high efficiency and capacity within technological systems. Let's take a look at the overall dialog model, the modified 2080 Ti and 4976. The difference is too obvious, so we will find that large counties and villages are still the king. Don't think about using this 12G video memory graphics card. 16G 4080 is struggling to play games. Just play games well. Then let's take a look at this AI video rendering. Speaking of AI video rendering, we all know that there are many things that can be done. Everyone finds that this kind of AI video can bring us a lot of benefits. For this AI rendering software, we use the video AI software that we often use for image quality optimization. This AI software can make the video quality better through AI algorithms. Not only can it make some of our growth become high definition, but it is also of great help for some commercial shooting. We chose the latest version 3.3. As for the test content, we took a 1080p 30 frame video. Set to default 4K30, we first assessed the 4090. Improved image quality is evident following optimization. However, it's noteworthy that completion with the 4090 took precisely 5 minutes and 16 seconds to finish processing. Um. Then let's take a look at what the 2080 Ti is like after the magic modification. Well, we can also see that the image quality optimization is also very obvious, and it is basically at the same level as the 4090. It took 5 minutes and 3 seconds, which is faster than the 409, but of course we take into account that there may be some system background running. Let's take a look at these 10 seconds or so as an error. That at least shows that different AI application software have different solutions in optimization and model retrieval. Not the latest graphics card will definitely win, but in the future there may be greater optimization for the latest graphics cards. Let's take a look at the image quality again. Let's take a closer look at how the core generation gap will be affected. So from my more evolutionary perspective, why do I feel that the image quality optimization of 2080 Ti will be better? So can we try the more powerful Intel graphics card we just happen to have to... There is a piece. Let's try it. Guess what the result is? It went wrong. It seems that Intel still has a long way to go. Just like AMD drivers have been criticized by players, what about the optimization of AI software now? In fact, AMD and Intel still need to work hard. Maybe Huang will not have the motivation to make better gaming graphics cards for us. Let's help. Forget about those who regret playing games. Why are both graphics cards overloaded? Finally, let's summarize the performance of local AI application deployment. For CTT, the 4090 is basically better than the 3090 and the 2080. It is too powerful and will be stronger than 4080. Why does 16G4080 have a strong display in the graphics category? If not, 4090 is stronger than 3090 and stronger than 4080. Condensed paragraph into three to eight words. While substantial video memory is essential, so are core efficiency and innovations like GDDR6 technology in graphics performance. 6X still has a relatively obvious performance difference. We can see that in terms of conventional applications, the graphics efficiency of the modified 2080 Ti can beat the 12G4070 Ti. But the advantage is only a little bit, and there is still a certain gap compared to 409. But considering the money, it is not unacceptable. In terms of the dialogue model, we can see that there is basically no big difference between 2080 Ti and 4090. Thank you. The 6-bit model basically requires more than 16G of video memory, so 4080 is also good. This 4070 Ti is good, this one has a lot of video memory, forget about this, 3080.
It's the same, so if you want to fine tune or train, you may still need a larger video memory. For example, this 2080 Ti has MV Link, and the four cards have 88G of video memory, which can do a lot of things. In terms of AI video rendering, we also saw the latest Cool Fighter with large video memory. It's not absolute, we see that the two scores are similar, so we still have to look at the optimization call of this software, including borrowing letters, etc. However, in fact, overall, because the answer is indeed a relatively safe and easy to use choice, and finally put a picture of the Duoka Internet 3090 and 2080 Ti 11G version seen on Jihu, and the comparison between A100 and V100. So if it is modified, then four 2080 Ti cards are enough. So it seems that the 2080 Ti modification is not bad. Well, this issue ends here. Thank you all.